There are many different bottle shrinks with different sizes and shapes. So many of them. Today we will investigate bottle flipping with these three kinds of bottles. 500ml water from Suntory, 500ml Coca-Cola, and a 3.7 liter crystal geyser. Although for this investigation, we will measure the maximum capacity of each bottle to find the exact ratio of the capacity to the perfect amount of water that must be in it. Each bottle also has different size and shape, such as flat circle, pop out, and a big flat square. The surface area that touches the ground also varies. Although you might think that big bottles work better, as shown in this YouTube video. But you know what? Big things might not always be better. So let's go find it out. Another key factor that draws the line between you becoming one of the best bottle flippers or to awfully fail in front of your friends is the water level. Water level is really important when it comes to flipping bottle. Think of it this way. The water is the center of gravity when the bottle is still in the air. So in our experiment, we used a water level of one third. At one third of the volume, the Suntory water bottle contains of 194 milliliter and has a velocity of Wait, how do you calculate the velocity again? It's height over time, you dumb Oh, okay. So, height divided by time. Approximately 1.75 meters per second. Which means it has a momentum of... Wait, uh... Huh? Never mind. Take the velocity and times it by the mass. 0.3395 meters per second. Meanwhile, the coke consists of 185 milliliter with a velocity of 1.775 centimeters per second and a momentum of 0.328375 newtons per second and lastly the big crystal geyser a velocity of approximately 2.1 meters per second and a final momentum of only 2.688 newtons per second now to put all this momentum into real life example was actually not that hard since every newton is equivalent to 0.101971621 kilogram, we can easily calculate the Hello? result. And here they are. The Suntory bottle only has about 0.03461936532295 or about 35 grams. That is pressure onto the object per second. And the third place is the Coke, which is awfully close to the Suntory's pressure. Has about 0.03348493104587494 kilograms which in grams is about 33 grams these number may seem long and heavy but after we convert them from kilogram to grams they are rather light that number right there is only equivalent to about 6 crayons while the big crystal geyser has a pressure of 0.274 kilograms which is almost as heavy as only 60 nickels even though we know that the big crystal geyser is your best bet, let's not forget that it is not a bottle we would bring with us most of the time. Red. So looking at the three, Sundari is the middle of the two bottle. While sitting at second place at the momentum, its velocity is also at the lowest, 1.75 meters per second, which makes it fall not so fast. Even our percentage table shows that it has been a percentage of 60%, making it while Coke has 40%, and a big crystal geyser has 70%. Different kinds of bottle resemble different kinds of level in your exciting bottle flipping gameplay. For our three bottles, Coke is the hard level, and Big Crystal Geyser is the easy level. In the middle, we have the Suntory, which is not so easy yet not hard level. It's like a default level setting. After all these complicated calculations, analysis, them data, graphs, all the effort, all the... Okay, I'm just exaggerating now. But, in conclusion, the best bottle for bottle flipping is... A sundry water bottle that has a flat circle bottom. A water ratio of 1, 2, 3, which because we're so nice we already calculated for you and that is 184 milliliters. Fill it up with that amount, at just the right flip, your bottle should travel at the speed of 1.75 meters per second and landing with the force no heavier than about 6 grams total width. And that is how you flip a bottle using math.